Hello, I'm Ashton Irwin and I play for Five Seconds of Summer. Um, or recently the band, uh, or before this band, Swallow the Goldfish. Uh, we sold roughly no albums uh, and then I joined Five Seconds of Summer. So I was in primary school in Australia. I was roughly, I think I was nine or ten years old. And my friend Lachlan says to me, hey buddy, you want to be in a band? And I said, yeah man. Uh, he's like, what do you play? I loved Green Day and I said, you know, I also love Trey Cool. And I said, hey, I play the drums. Uh, and it turned out it was a huge lie. I lied to him. And uh, so he invited me over that Saturday and he said, uh, all right, man, let's, let's play Holiday by Green Day. And I said, no worries, I'll play that. Me knowing I've lied to this man and I said, I can play the drums, I actually can't. So I said to him, look, I'm not having a good day today. And I went home. And it turned out my stepdad was a drummer. Uh, and I said, can you set your drum kit up in the garage for me to play? Because uh, I'm in deep shit and I've told this guy I can play the drums and I have no idea how to play the drums. Please teach me how to play the drums. And then I learnt Holiday and that was my first song that I played off American Idiot. And uh, since then I haven't turned back. I've been a drummer ever since. And uh, yeah, it's been great. So thank you Lachlan and thank you to the lie that I told. I've been in a series of bands in my life. I've played everything from jazz, funk, to I've been in an African ensemble where I used to play a djembe, lead djembe. Um, highlighted my career. <laughs> um, I joined Five Seconds of Summer when I was 17 years old. I'm now 21. Uh, um, my first set of cymbals uh, were the ZBTs. Big green box, Trey Cool on the cover. And these were some shiny up cymbals. I took them out of the box and I was so proud of them and I'd had, I've, I've had these crappy secondhand cymbals all my life that we've picked up from junkyards and now I have my fresh set of ZBT Zildjian cymbals and uh, Trey Cool's on the cover and you know I felt like Trey Cool, I felt, I felt great. I talk about Trey Cool on this interview which is kind of creepy. I hope he, you know, he isn't this. Um, so I, I, I continued on with my Zildjian cymbals, they lasted me uh, all the way up to that first gig in 2014 uh, from 2007 so they were definitely durable. I wasn't hitting them too hard, I was playing with 7A sticks back then because I had these tiny little arms and uh, I was just a tiny little teenage dude. Um, and then in 2014 uh, I was lucky enough to, to join the, the Zildjian family and it's been incredible ever since. I break too many cymbals and you know, but I'm lucky enough that I have the support that I can still fill these cymbal uh, racks. So uh, yeah, they've been so incredible to me and I'm so happy to be part of this big, this big thing that is Zildjian. I'm playing, you know, two crashes right now. I have this giant medium rod, uh, and I've got, this keeps growing every day. This is the china I use. Um, it's great for, you know, big endings and stuff like that in the songs that we play. I like super responsive hi-hats. Uh, and here I've got the A Customs. And, uh, you know, I love 16ths and I've always done too many of them since I started drumming. For some reason, I like to do the little... Uh, <laughs> and then I've got this new thing here. It's, uh, it's an A Custom FX. And I've seen Taylor Hawkins playing these. They're bigger. Uh, I like Lollapalooza. I watch the Foo Fighters. And uh, they sounded pretty damn great to me. So I had to get some of those. Um, yeah, that's my setup at the moment. I've got a tiny little splash over there and that's more for fun, uh, which I think is appropriate when you're in trouble, you gotta have fun. Uh, and yeah, this is, this is my setup and I love it. And it probably will keep growing, almost definitely. <laughs> 